Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and here's a little project that I think anybody could do and have a lot of fun and, and experiment. And one of the sim simplest things you could do, take a rect, and one thing about it, there's no measurements. There's no particular size. So I'm going to take a rectangle. I'm going to, with a edit corner ratio lock, I'm going to put two inches, which is more than enough to round off the corners. But I'm going to make it, so I do want to, with this lock, I'm going to make it at least an even number, so I'm going to make it three. And then I'm going to take an ellipse, and I'm going to make it three. And my ratio is locked, so it's three by three. I'm going to select both of them when we hit P. That put both of them in the center of the page. I'm going to take, now I'm going to select both, and I'm going to hit L, which put both items to the left. And then I'm going to group this together, control G, and then I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to double click on my rotation. I'm going to put it in the center. And I want to rotate this thing 60 degrees. It's kind of funny because it's really, you know, you think it needs to be 120. But then what you can do is take this unit and control D and duplicate it and mirror it. Now, rotate that. Whoop. I got a little jiggle there. Rotate this one 120 degrees, but the opposite direction. So we're going to go 120. See, I moved it a little bit somehow, or I didn't get in the center of the rotation. Yeah, there it is. It's not in the center. There it is. Now I'm going to rotate it 120 degrees. And you get that shape. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete this line. Now I would go ahead and take the smart fill tool. Nah, you don't have to do that. Well, yes, we do. We have to get the smart fill tool to get a shape there because we need to find the center of that triangle. And to do that, just take a two point line and go, go along the edge till you see midpoint and then go to that node. Go along till you see midpoint and go to that node. You only need two. You could go ahead and go three, but it's going to be the same exact center. So now we need to take our part that we have like this, and we need to smart fill it. And we're going to go with a light blue. And then we're going to get the, and you could do this with any range of colors, get the interactive fill tool and go from one side to the other. But we want, if you look at my example, we want this to be the darker side. So we're going to get a darker blue and put it over here. Then you can always adjust this, making it, I really don't have a light enough blue. Uh, let's go this blue here. We want, that's kind of a gray uh, blue. Let's change it back to that. And let's, uh, let's get a lighter, see if we can get a lighter blue up in this corner. There we go. And you're going to play, you know, play with this. You want to leave your transparency on zero. You know, you could actually play with it a little bit. But you want this up here darker, so we're going to bring our thing about like that. And you could play with that. I, I, I did pretty good on that one. Then just take this item, control D and duplicate it, but move the center rotation to the next in the triangle and rotate it 120 degrees. So my second one doesn't look as good as the first one because I have a, I have better color. So let's just, if you don't mind, just keep watching and we'll get back to the interactive fill tool and maybe we'll do it in green this time. Let's get a light green on that side and a darker green on this side. And then play with our slide. You know, maybe if I bring this one in a little bit, there we go. That might look good. Then just take it. And it, originally, it would be easier if it was on this layer down here. Because it's almost, it's easier for me anyway. Then rotate it 120 degrees. That doesn't look half bad. And then just take away the color. Take away the lines. You don't have to take away the outlines, but you could. Just take the whole thing and 
go up to your no fill tool and right click your mouth. That's pretty cool and pretty simple. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.